She didn't appear on the John Ankerberg show. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. She has no scholarship. Okay, that's why. Gail Ripplinger has no biblical degrees. She, she has no biblical degrees at all when it comes to the Bible. The woman was an interior designer, guys. Now, this guy, I don't know if he knew it or not, okay? Now, this is the scene. Now, maybe I have a picture of it. I don't know, okay? But this is the scene anyway. This dear couple, I say dear couple because they were humble. They're, they're interviewing Gail Reblinger, okay? Uh -huh. So they, she's getting interviewed by this dear couple, okay? That's not a big deal. That's good. But the thing is, so he reads for about two minutes her scholarship. And that she was a university a professor. She has these degrees. And, 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 and it goes on and on and on. This laundry list of, 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 of scholarship. However, it doesn't tell you nothing okay about her biblical scholarship it just says that she's a she was a university professor and she was this and she was that but it, it, it says nothing about the bible nothing it doesn't say that she has a doctorate degree in theology or she has a master's in in, in christian history or or it doesn't give you any of that information it just says she had she was she taught in college that's all it is and let me tell you something when you're attacking the bible when you have the guts, okay, to speak against the word of God, you better have some scholarship. Not going to help you anyway, but at least, okay, we will we'll know that you have some background in the word of God. But this woman has no background at all with the word of God. None. Okay, I'm not talking about now because it's twenty. that was 20 years ago. All right? That program was about 1993, 1994. So she might have had at least a certificate, you know, by then anyway. You know what I mean? I mean, give me one cert at least a certificate, okay? I mean, give me a Cracker Jack because I was going to something. All right? I mean, get it from a bubble gum, a bubble gum machine, anything. <laughs> give me some scholarship. But this lady, okay, seems to be nice. She's kind of cute, okay? She is, I can't deny it. But the thing, and that's why people are drawn by her. Now, she's not Marilyn Monroe. Let's just, catch, let's just face it. She's not. She's not Marilyn Monroe, okay? She's not that. And not, and not. Okay? She's a handsome woman. She's a pretty creature. She was probably cuter when she was about 17, okay? All right, so I can see why people are duped by her and her teachings, okay, on the internet or whatever, on you know, live programs, whatever. I don't care. But this woman has no had no scholarship, nothing. She had no degrees, okay. She has no scholarship, okay. And if you don't have any scholarship, you can't speak against the word of God. You can't. That's it. That is it. Okay? So I'm opening up this program, all right, letting you know that I saw, you know, at least one-third of the interview. I'm not going to be, you know, from 12 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the morning, all right, looking at a three-hour interview. i got to get some sleep, okay, to do programs like this and to study for my debate that's coming up, by the way, of the King James. It never goes away. It's like bubble gum on your shoe, this topic. All right? Why? Well, I'll tell you why, folks, dearly beloved sheep of the living God. I'll tell you why, beloved. And I love you, all of you. Even you King James characters, as strange as ye are. See, I used ye, you know, a little King James ling uh, lingo, <laughs> okay? Well, let's face it, she's not Marilyn Monroe. She has no scholarship, but, however, okay, she does have appeal. She is a pretty woman. All right, I'll give you that. After that, there's nothing else to talk about. She seems to be a wonderful a woman that you can talk to, okay? 
but it's all fake. Why? Because she says you have to be humble, okay? And when you talk to her about the King James topic, she runs around in circles, gives you nothing. She has no scholarship, no degrees, no diplomas, nothing. Okay, that's what she has. She has nothing. And nothing plus nothing equals what? Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. That's what she has. I'm here to expose Gail Ripplinger as a fraud. That's what I'm here to do. All right? That's this program. I'm here to tell you that all her scholarship uh, is deplorable. In the interview and in, in books like, okay, New Age Bible Versions, which is a, which is a disgrace. I'll give you a, I'll give you I'll give you an example. Okay? Let's reason. Let's reason, says God. Isaiah said, let us reason, said the Lord. Alright? Though your sins be as scarlet or red as crimson, okay, they should be like wool and snow. So let's reason. Let's come together, alright, and be logical, okay, about all this stuff. About all this garbage by Gail Ripplinger, who was a fraud. That's what she was. I don't care. If you're going to talk against the, uh, against a Bible version, you better have some sort of scholarship. And if you don't, out you go. Give me a diploma. Give me something. Give me background. Give me some teaching that will back up your statements. And if you don't, well, you're a fraud. That's all I said. Well, let's give you an example. She says that the Greek edition of 1881, now remember there are a lot of Greek editions of the New Testament and so on. Okay? All right? All right? Well, let's check it out. And what, it, and what, and what is, what's the topic? What's the deal? What well, the deal is, okay, that 1881 edition was done by B.F. Westcott. And? Heart. Now, let me tell you something, okay? She says that B.F. Westcott was a spiritualist, that he was a fraud, and you can't trust that Greek edition of the Bible because they were frauds. They were spiritualists. They were into, you know, abracadabra and all that other stuff. Well, let me tell you something. She doesn't know what she's talking about because the one that was a spiritualist, okay, was not B.F. Westcott. It was W.W. Westcott, okay, Gail Ripplinger, don't you know your ABCs, your one, two, threes, huh? But you don't because you have no scholarship. You're a fraud, and you always were a fraud, and you're never going to be great in God's kingdom until you repent. You have one shot before you get out of this world. One shot. One. Okay? You either say that you were wrong about this topic, about complaining about different Bible versions except for the King James, okay? Now, I don't have a problem with the King James Bible. I love the King James. But to say that the King James is the only Bible that we should use is a crime. Because there are other good versions of the Bible too. That's this topic. That's what this topic is all about. This topic is about that the Christian has to... Absolute 100% freedom to use any good Bible version that he wants or she wants to do or read. But now, Gail Ripplinger, okay, who's backed up by the AV Publications, read her book. That's the publisher of her book. The AV Publication. Ah, no wonder. The AV Publications, there you go. There's jealousy in there. There's envy. There's scarn. Okay? There you go. Folks, I'm here to tell you if you're, if you're young, middle age, old age, rich or par, okay? I don't care. There's not only one good version of the Bible. You can use more than one. 
But no, Gail Ripplinger comes on, on, on the scene, okay, and says that you can only use the King James. Why well, I to tell you why you're listening to the lady. The lady has no scholarship. She has nothing, okay? She has no credentials. She never was a teacher in a Christian college at all, and she's making out a book, and she's making out a book to fool you guys, okay? Because the NIV and the NASB are outselling the King James. Aha, uh -huh, that's all it is. But let's get back to Westcott and Hart. Westcott, B.F. Westcott and Hart, okay, wrote the Greek New Testament edition in 1881. Now, she has some beef against these people. Therefore, okay, misrepresenting them and then ruining their reputations, or at least trying to anyway. Why? Well, so you won't you won't follow the, the new versions. But this is what she did wrong, okay? And she even admitted admits it in her book. She says, okay, that B. F. Westcott, okay, was a spiritualist or some somebody poking in ab abracadabra and spiritual, you know, spiritualism or whatever you call it. But it's not Westcott, B.F. Westcott that was doing this stuff. It was W.W. W. Westcott. She gets two people confused. B.F. Westcott was not a spiritualist. He was only investigating it, says his, ho says his son Arthur. He was never involved in the, in the ghostly guild, okay? And any other club like that. Meaning uh, to, 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 to go deep into the subject, to be part of the subject and, and all that stuff. He wasn't part of a, of, of a club that, that, that did these crimes. He was only there to investigate it. Just like I investigate Mormonism and, and Jehovah Witnesses and Roman Catholicism and Islam and on you go. But no, she doesn't understand that B.F. Westcott was born in 1825 and W.W. Westcott was born in 1848. They're two different people. Okay? She, her scholarship is disgusting. It's a disgrace. And you want her, and she wants you to believe her book. Are you, are you joking? Okay? You must be joking. This is a joke. Let's face it. This is a King James joke, right? It's a joke. All right? I thought that King James had three passions. Hunting, reading, and writing. Not joking around. All right? But she gets this guy confused. Okay? I can't believe you guys. Wake up. Wake up. Up, 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 up. Wake up and smell the Sanka. She's a fraud. That's all she is. Okay? She tells you that B.F. Westcott was a spiritualist, and he wasn't. It was W.W. W. Westcott. Didn't you go to elementary school, Gail Ripplinger? Didn't you or did you? Don't you know your ABCs and 123s? Don't you know the difference between uh, B.F. Westcott and W.W. W. Westcott? Do you know the difference between B and F and W? B.F. Westcott was never a spiritualist, okay? He was making a wonderful Greek edition of the Bible. And it stands forever until God comes back. All right? B.F. Westcott, again, ladies and gentlemen, was not a fraud. He was not a spiritualist. Okay, you can go to any encyclopedia, okay, of the, of the occult and the cults and stuff like that, okay? Any encyclopedia, you know, paraphysical, parapsychology, all you want. You're not going to find his name there. And not, and not, and in Hort's name either. You're going to find W.W. W. Westcott. You're going to find him. If you want a Westcott being a spiritualist, you'll see that Westcott, okay, W.W. W. Westcott was the fraud. Not B.F. Westcott that did the Greek edition of the battle. This is what's going on. 
And she says that the new Bible versions takes away, takes away, takes away. Takes away what? From the King James? Well, if it took away from the King James and the King James added, let me tell you something, I'm glad for these new additions. You know, by then anyway, you know what I mean? I mean, give me one cert at least a certificate, okay? I mean, give me a Cracker Jack because I was going to something, all right? I mean, get it from a bubble, gum machine, a bubble gum machine, anything. <laughs> Give me some scholarship. But this lady, okay, seems to be nice. She's kind of cute, okay. She is, I can't deny it. But the thing, and that's why people are drawn by her. Now, she's not Marilyn Monroe. Let's just, catch, let's just face it. She's not, okay. But this is a scene anyway. This dear couple, I say dear couple because they were humble. They're, they're interviewing Gail Riblinger, okay, uh-huh, so they, she's getting interviewed by this dear couple, okay, that's not a big deal, that's good, but the thing is, so he reads for about two minutes her scholarship, and that she was a university a professor, she has these degrees, and 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 it goes on and on and on, this laundry list of, 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 she didn't appear on the John Ankerberg show. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. She has no scholarship. Okay, that's why. Gail Ripplinger has no biblical degrees. She, she has no biblical degrees at all when it comes to the Bible. The woman was an interior designer, guys. Now, this guy, I don't know if he knew it or not. Okay, now this is the scene. Now maybe I have a picture of it, I don't know. Of scholarship, however, it doesn't tell you nothing, okay, about her biblical scholarship. It just says that she's a, she was a university professor, and she was this, and she was that, but it, it, it says nothing about the Bible. Nothing. It doesn't say that she has a doctorate degree in theology, or she has a master's in in, in Christian history, or, or it doesn't give you any of that information. It just says she had, she was, she taught in college. That's all it is. And let me tell you something: when you're attacking the Bible, when you have the guts, okay, to speak against the Word of God, you better have some scholarship. Not gonna help you anyway, but at least, okay, we we'll, we we'll know that you have some background in the Word of God. But this woman has no background at all with the word of God. None. Okay? I'm not talking about now because it's twenty. that was 20 years ago. All right? That program was about 1993, 1994. So she might have had at least a certificate.